Hello fellow earth science teachers, this is Tim Claus coming to you from Casey Middle School in Williamsville, New York. First of all, I want to take the time to thank you for taking the time to evaluate the application that I'm developing. The main goal here is to take a common problem in earth science that has a low tech solution, commonly used, and integrate a high tech solution that's going to help increase student understanding. So you all know that a common problem for earth science students is taking an S and P time difference and finding the epicenter distance to an earthquake. The old method, which seems like a really low tech solution to me, was to take the piece of paper, we call it the earthquake slide, make a mark at zero in five minutes, and slide it up. This application provides a high tech solution to that, which I will show you now. So what you see here is the basic interface to the application. If a student has an SP travel time difference, what they can do then is rapidly click the arrows, which are located here and here. And the way the reason they're rapidly clicking these arrows is because we want to create an animated effect where we can actually see movement on the graph. Now the idea is to create a visual representation of earthquake distance and how large distances correspond to larger SP travel time distances. So you can see if I click rapidly move up here, the red line representing SP travel time difference gets bigger as my earthquake epicenter down here in orange also gets larger. I have a readout for my S wave travel time. I also have a readout for my P wave travel time represented by smaller blue and green lines on the graph. But again, the red line is thicker because we want to stress to students that SP travel time difference is the most important number here. If a student is having trouble calculating SP travel time distance, there is a link to a time calculator right here, which the student can go to a web-based application that they can use to subtract the P wave and S wave times. Now, I invite you to take time to play around with this application on your own and fill out the survey that was included in the original email that you received from me. I really appreciate your feedback on this, and thanks again.